people only care about what you can do for them nowadays. They do not care about the true meaning of love and life. It's all about what you can give and what don't matter. What you got to do to get it, as long as they get it, that's their satisfying. That's so messed up. That's how the generation is. It's really messed up. So what you going to do to make the generation better? I mean, I got to keep being the real me like I've been. And, you know, fake always get exposed. You cannot surround yourself with blindness and expect to see. Can't run around with prejudiced people and not be prejudiced. You can't run around with arrogant people and not be arrogant. You cannot run with packs of angry women and expect to be happy and fulfilled. You cannot hang out with a bunch of defeated, going nowhere, no vision men and be an overcomer. You are who you hang around. Because if I am down and everybody else is down around me, then down becomes normal. But what makes down terrible is when you are down and you can still see up. I'm begging you, man. I'm begging you from a man to a man. Let go. Let go. Let go of these people who you know aren't for you. Here's a big one. If you're not feeling it, find new friends. I'm being dead serious about this. This one is real big for me. Who you hang out with is a huge deal. And again, these are all tried and true things, right? We've heard the, you're the whatever of the five friends you spent, like, that's real. If you feel motivated by this conversation or you're intrigued by it, add one new winner friend. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Add one new winner friend and And cut one loser friend. Like, yeah, I know he's been your boy since fourth grade, but he sits at home and fucking smokes weed and plays 2K all day. (laughs) Like, you can only love them so much. If you look around you, take a look at the five people who you spend the most time with. Those people reflect not only who you are, but who you're gonna become. So to me, once you've made the decision that you deserve to live a life that reflects every desire that you could ever have, and that you are capable of of living at your full potential, then the next step is making the choice that you're gonna surround yourself with people who've got the same mindset. Because even if all of y'all have not reached your goals, if you're striving together, that'll hold you accountable to keep moving forward. And they can pull you back on track when you get off track, right? That's really important. I think beyond that, I think that the people around you, being very selective of who you put yourself around is so important because ultimately, the people who you place yourself around are gonna be your support system once you do get to your destination. Just choose your peer group really, really well. There's a lot of excellent science coming out and a lot of excellent research coming out that says the number one way to improve your behavior is to surround yourself with a peer group or social circle of people who are also playing at the level you want to be playing at. So if you want to be a high performer in terms of your productivity, populate your life with high performers. Now here's the science behind it. In the brain, we have something called the mirror neuron system of the brain. And it dates back to thousands of years ago when we were living on the savannah. And this mirror neuron system allowed us to model the behavior of the dominant people in the tribe. So if someone figured out a tool or figured out fire or a better way to survive, subconsciously, this system in the brain allowed us to model the behavior. And I think this is pretty fascinating information. Now here we are in the modern world and what happens? Subconsciously, we are modeling the behavior of the people we spend most of our time with. And so if you are around victims, you will start behaving like a victim. If you are around people who are mediocre performers, you will subconsciously start behaving like them. If you're around people who gossip, who are not A players, who do not produce very much, you will subconsciously, because of the mirror neuron system in the brain, start performing like them. Why else is it important to surround yourself with a peer set or a social orbit of A players? Emotional contagion. And that's a scientific phenomenon that simply says, we pick up on the emotions of the people that are around us. 
And so if you are around a social circle of people who are inspired, people who want to do great work, people who want to be ultra productive, people who want to be innovative, people who are relentlessly optimizing their work, their thinking, their creativity, just being around them will allow you to adopt their energy and their ways of being. Hang with the heroes. Passion Paper Squad, we're out. Put them up.